Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn and see how we can use this light sensor. So when it's dark, the AC light will turn on. When it's bright day or the light is enough, the light will go off. So I'm just covering this, make it dark so the light is on. So we're going to use this to control AC bulb like this. And this bulb can be located in a garage, outside, any light that you want, you can control or anything else with the with this uh, light sensor. So the, you can get the code for this by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Also, uh, the matter of warning that when this is connected to AC, you do not touch this module at all because it will be very dangerous and also when you're working with this make because at the bottom we have um, all the contacts so you cannot leave this on a on any other device or anything that other than insulated plastic or wood or paper so make sure that you disconnect it when you're connecting or disconnecting any wires from AC power so that's very important play safe and uh, let's get started For this project i will offer two types of control of this one is the digital which will be just turned on and off and the sensitivity of the device will be con controlled by this uh, potentiometer with the potentiometer that you turn it on but if you want more control we can also do from analog uh, so you can control it better with the numbers on the screen so I will offer two types of code here. One will be basic and the other one will be advanced. So depending on whichever you like, you can get it when you follow the link. So this is the module. Oh, on this side, we have four pens. We have VCC, ground, digital out, and analog out. So VCC is connected to five volts. Ground is connected to the ground of Arduino. Digital out will be connected to pin 2 and then IA0 that's analog that we can connect it to anyone to any analog But we are connecting it to a0 for convention. So it will be easy And then we have here an LED. There are two LEDs here This LED is for the power when you connect it to the power and this LED is on when there is light When it is dark, it will go dark. So when there is light it will have light and here we have a potentiometer that you can turn it, rotate it and change the sensitivity of this to the light. So you can make it more sensitive or less sensitive. And then here we have the actual the LDR light dependent resistance that receives the light and is being amplified and used for that purpose. This, the length of this module approximately 35.4 because it can be bent and changed and the width of it is 13.9 millimeter the previous value was also millimeter and the depth of it is 7.4 millimeter so let me explain the relay now the relay is 5 volts so we do need other external power so it can be powered with the arduino so we have three connections here so this is common so you always connect your one of the wires that you connect to ac or dc whatever heater light whatever so you connect it the light is connected here one of them and the other one will be either connected here or here depending on the application so this means normally connected so without any power to this it's always connected if you connect another wire here the, so it will be connected and your device will have power and this is normally open so when you connect the, the middle here and the other one is here it will be normally open when the relay energize or get signal this will connect these two wires uh, we have two uh, leds here this red led is for uh, when it gets power and then this will activate it when it gets signal so the three inputs or the three pin for the uh, relay or vcc so this is vcc and this is ground so you will connect this to 5 volt and this is connected to the ground or negative wire and this is input the input is where the signal comes this is connected to the pin 10 in this uh, application when the signal comes this light will be on so let me explain the ac bulb here so this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on but i have disconnected one of these two wires here 
So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. Now I have connected the AC wires between the common and normally open NO. Normally uh, common and normally open. So let me explain now the code. Uh, we have set these two constants. We are defining this 2 and 9. So this is pin 2 and that's pin 9 of your digital uh, pin of Arduino. So you can do use anything between 2 to 13. So this we will use these 2, 2 for the uh, input from the sensor and 9 is to control the relay. And inside this setup we say serial.begin 9600 baud. That is the speed of this serial monitor that prints here. So that uh, 9600 is here at this corner. It must match that number. So after that, we set the light, which is pin 2, as an input. We also, we select pull up resistor. So this is a good practice when it's not connected. It always has some value which is high at this point. Internally it connects a, a resistor from that point to the VCC. So then also we relay pin 9 as an output. So two pin are defined here as a, using the pin mode command. And then inside the loop from here to here, we just from the beginning to end, we just say read digital light. So this means read the pin 2 and put the result store it in L and here we say if L is equal equal means equal if L is equal 1 1 mean high and high mean 5 volts so when it receives 5 volts it will get the value of 1 so we say if L is equal 1 then the light is on and then set the relay low because I have low trigger uh, relay it needs to, to be triggered with low so if this is true then whatever you want to do remove this and put your command um, turn a camera on I don't know turn a motor to open the door or something or a servo whatever you want you can do it but if this is false we say else then print this thing text light is off that's the one that you're seeing here and set the relay to high which means turn off the relay and then wait 500 milliseconds and then the loop continues like that so this is the demonstration of the basic one this is the AC bulb and this is a module that's a relay relay is also um, has power uh, but no signal as you can see on the screen we also see the light is off I'm providing this because sometimes you might not use AC bulb, you want to do something else, but serial monitor is very important to read that data. So now I'm covering this, make it dark, as you can see the light is on, and also on the screen you see it says light on, so you can use that command, so you can use that command to control something. So let me explain this advanced code. So we have defined here pin 2 for light and pin 9 for relay. The light means that's coming from the sensor. And after that, here we have said that digital equal true. If you put this digital equal true, it will read only the digital value. And you have to you have to set the sensitivity from the potentiometer on the module. If you set this to analog, then you can set the value from here and the potentiometer is useless because we are using the analog pin to A0. So this is setting the sensitivity uh, at what level of light you want. So the darker uh, the room, the higher this value. The brighter the, the light, the smaller this number, it will turn on. So you have to play with this to understand it. 
and then here from the setup we said 9600 baht to turn on this one serial begin and then 9600 is this one on this right side and then we set light as an input with pull up resistor and relay this is as if I type here 9 and then I type here 2 inside the loop we, we just wait a delay of uh, 500 milliseconds and continuously going through this but this is the method that I've written that runs every 500 milliseconds so twice a second and here is the explanation the relay starts void relay this is a method that starts and ends here inside the relay we say if digital is equal true so this is the one that if you set this equal true then what happens is from here to here all this actions will take place if it's true so now let's see it first we read the light digital read light this means 2 so the result of this pen 2 will be stored in L and here we say if L is equal equal 1 so it means if it's equal 1 do all of this so I when I'm controlling the relay printing this text on the screen here light is on and then relay low because the relay that I use is low trigger so you can replace this for anything that you want controlling a servo controlling a camera or motor whatever you want you can do it here if it's not equal one which it means false then here we say light is off this text and then also we say relay equal high so this this will turn on the relays turning on the light now if this is not true which means if you set this to equal false F A L S E this small one just type it there if you do that then this will happen the else whatever is inside the else clause from here to here this will happen so we say analog read it goes to A0 on Arduino and reads it and stores it the, at the A0 value so now this will have the value which will be a number that you saw here so the number we will be reflected here I will be compared with the light value the light value is the value that you set here light value and then 650 or whatever you have so here we say that if light value is larger than the if a zero value is sorry larger than the larger or equal light value then print the analog value which will print it here you see some numbers and then we will also print the text light is on and also send the relay low so turn on the relay so this will turn on the light if the value is smaller then we say print this or do this action the same thing as before you can do motor control anything you want or something else you want to control in this area when that condition is false so we also print the value to make sure to understand the value and also we turn put this text and also we turn the relay high so it means the relay will be off the light will be off and this this uh, relay will run inside the loop when the loop goes so this will just run constantly and now this is a demonstration of the advanced one this time it has been connected to the analog one and now the sensitivity will not have any effect So as you can see here, now the system is reading at the analog value and had, uh, that's 110 and here we have set this to be 350 so when the value is 350 or higher the light will be on. So the higher value means a dark so this is bright so I have to keep it covered as you can see here. I've covered it and now it's 530 or something so any anyway above 300 so the light is above 350 the light is on so you can change the sensitivity here and you can let's say make it 600 650 so it will need a lot dark situation to turn on the light So now it's 109 and you see I, I bring it, it's 2, 
320 doesn't work I make it dark as 480 now I'm pushing my hand down so make it more dark you see 700 so now it's very dark so the light is on so depending on your application you can do the same thing either putting it in a garage because in some garage or some places the light are different maybe in some region the intensity of light so if the if the garage has a window or something you can just change that number without touching this so you can just put this in a housing and change the value from Arduino and put it back to change the digital if you want to use the digital let me just say this just set digital equal true and I'm now uploading it now the sensitivity can be determined only via this uh, potentiometer so the this light works like that so because now currently there is light enough light so this is lit it's turned on when it's dark this goes off thank you for watching so this was introduction to this uh, light sensor module for arduino Please thumb up the video, please share it, and also if you have any question or comment, I appreciate it if you just write it in the comment section, I'll try to answer and reply. Take care and play safe and make sure that do not touch this when it's connected.